Volkov. Who? Dmitry Volkov. The regal finale is his calling card. The name's familiar. What do we know about him? He's a right bastard. Anything more specific? Just what's in his file. Born in Kamchatka in 1921. Distinguished himself as an academic prodigy and master chess player by the age of eight, by which time he'd also earned notoriety for refining various torture techniques on neighbors' pets. It seems he joined the NKVD in 37 and served as some sort of disciplinarian in a gulag near Kiev. His whereabouts during the war are unknown except for a brief mention in 43, when he was spotted by an OSS officer at Leningrad interrogating prisoners of war who would later disappear without a trace. Ah, yes. I remember this fellow. We've had dealings with him before. Sometime after the war, he emerged again, this time in the employ of Smirsch. He's personally credited with well over a thousand executions, spies and Soviet dissidents for the most part. In 61, a failed assassination attempt left him without an eye. He was shot in the face at close range by one of our finest agents. You flatter me, but I shouldn't have missed. He escaped by throwing himself off a 70-foot cliff into an icy river. It was presumed that he survived as no body was ever recovered. In fact, rumor has it, he's currently working for an organization calling itself Harm as Director of Executive Action. I don't have to tell you what that means. What do we know about Harm? Unfortunately, there's very little about them in our files. Well, despite the obvious risks, we still have a job to do. In this case, a very important one. Wet work. Precisely. And after this recent catastrophe, the two of you are our only available assets. To be perfectly frank, Agent Archer, you're only getting this assignment because we've no other choice. Matters of such delicacy aren't really the sort of thing we would usually entrust to a woman. Emotional inconstancy and assassination do not make especially good bedfellows, if you take my meaning. Implicitly. But you shouldn't be ashamed. Administration is a perfectly noble career. I don't think I like your tone. I believe what Agent Archer means to say, Smithy, is that she appreciates the chance, however fortuitous, to demonstrate her abilities as an operative, and that she'll endeavor not to disappoint the committee. Isn't that so, Agent Archer? Aye. That's not what it sounded like to me. Enough of this. Time is of the essence. Stop by the toy shop before you go. They have some new gizmos you might find useful. Don't dally too long, though. Your flight leaves at 6 p.m. Where are we going? Morocco. Agent Archer, uh, what does harm stand for? I haven't figured that out yet. See if you can't find out. And be careful, both of you. I'm not letting you in here. strongly advise that you go through the training course before embarking on your first mission. There are many nuances and features you may overlook otherwise. If you prefer to skip training, just head to the exit. station designated by the flashing light. Your crosshair will change to indicate an item that can be activated. All right, 
Now open the door to the next area. Bystanders will often speak to you if you activate them. Sometimes they will share useful information. Sometimes they just want to chat. Be sure to conceal any obvious weapon or they'll be too distressed to talk. And try activating Leon. Well done. All right. Now open the door to the next. If you want to skip a cutscene, simply press the space bar. Congratulations! You've completed the basic field tactics course. You should now continue to the advanced field tactics area, where you will receive specific instructions for your upcoming mission. Note that new simulations will be prepared for you before each mission. So, do you think the CT-180 will get a decent field rating? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Have you seen the commission form for that thing? They want everything that the TR-60... Find your way to the door. 